Here at Park Tool, we pride ourselves on being a name you can trust in the world of maintenance and repair, from our tools to our educational materials, including these videos. Our troubleshooting and repair help content is rooted first and foremost in a love of bicycles and desire to educate others about them. Ooh, that's good. We would never betray the heart and trust of our viewers by compromising the content of our videos just to move a few more units. It's like some people only do things because they get paid. And that's really sad. Well, maybe there is one product we want to share with you that we're real excited about. It's really simple, but it makes a big difference. It's the WH-1. Holds your wheel, it fixtures your work. Why do you like it, Truman? I like the WH-1 because it makes things that are fairly normal tasks a lot easier. It just holds the wheels in different, it, the perfect position to do it. How can they get one? Well, funny you should ask, Calvin, because at the end of this video, we're going to go over how you could win one of these WH-1s. So stay tuned. Truman, you ready to fixture? Oh, I'm ready to fixture, Calvin. Let's go. So, I'm going to be changing a tire, I'm gonna be installing a new tire, putting in sealant, putting in a foam insert. It's going to be more effective at the 35 degree angle for, for me personally. Everybody else is going to have their own opinion on that. It's, it's helpful to give this a nice snug, make sure it's nice and tight so it holds nice and steady. Now I'm going to install this wheel, just slide it on if it's a through axle, let the air out. All right, so now we're gonna take the tire off. We'll start here, pop, 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 pop. Oh man, that's nice. And then I'm gonna take the tire all the way off, just like that. Oh yeah. All right, just took the tire off. Let's go to Calvin. What do you got going on? I've also found the WH-1 is great fun for wheel truing. For example, trued the wheel here up, but I like to double check the dish. So out it comes, nice and secure. So I am taking dishing tool, I am engaging it on the rim, and I'm gonna slide this over, I'm gonna bring contact right to the face there, the hub piece that would be touching the frame that represents the right side. I'm gonna flip it. We have a gap here. That's probably enough to worry about. I want to bring the wheel over. Which way? If I guess right, if I tighten the right side, see how that pulls that down? Ooh, if I were to tighten the left side, it makes it worse. So it even teaches me which way I should be tightening. So the WH-1, we have here bolted down to the bench. That's the way I like it. But Truman over there, he's working on a device. What is it you're working on over there? I'm gonna remove the tape from this wheel. So first I'm gonna find this, take this tape off, you can see why I'm wanting to replace it. It's nice and fixtured. That was pretty sweet. Just pulled it right off. All right, so we got the old stuff off. We got some alcohol here, a fresh rag, not the dirty rag, and I'm just gonna clean this. Time to install the new tape. Valve is here. Start halfway from the valve. Just like that. Overlap about six to seven inches. Cut that right there. I'm gonna go all the way around. Seat that tape a little bit better. Pop my valve core in. All right. So that's a little bit of cleaning, removal of tape, installation of new tape. Let's go see what Calvin's doing. Well, Calvin, what are you up to over there? We're working on some open dropout wheels now. So here, this is the traditional quick release style. So we're taking the through axle post out and we do have these V slots here exactly for this. So notice on this one, for the bearing adjustment on a cup and cone, Dara A's, the Altegra, so on, so on. We reverse the skewer to get a preload on that axle. So here I'm gonna feed it through the hole and then we have a little space filler here like a, 
like a little Pac-Man is gonna come behind there. All it does is add some more um, thickness to the stand and then I'm gonna close that skewer fully tight as if I'm riding. So that way we're, we're loading up that axle. I'm gonna use these cone wrenches, break free, I come back a little bit. And here I can check for bearing play or knocking. Ooh, I have no play here. Back off that skewer a little bit. Now play is appearing. So a little bit of play when it's out of the bike, but when it's loaded, no play. That is a good adjustment, just like that. So Truman, what's the next cool thing about the WH1? All right, so we took the tire off. Now we're gonna take the we're gonna put this new tire on. So putting quite a bit of pressure on this right now. Pop that on. So we got the first side on. I'm uh, I'm gonna be testing out this foam insert. These foam inserts are to allow you to run a little bit lower tire pressure, uh, give your tires a longer life. Gonna install that in there. I'm gonna be putting some sealing in it here, so I'm not gonna close it all the way up. I'm gonna leave a little pocket here at the bottom. Shake, shake, shake. I'm gonna precisely measure, you know, what I like, which is about uh, three and a half ounces of sealing in there. There we go, nice little spill. It's gonna go in. When I rotate this, it's coming down here. So we're safe from sealant spills. See, it's not quite in the valley of the rim here. Pop that on. We're gonna pop the last chunk on. There we go. Over inflate a little bit. Ooh, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna send this wheel over to the Fluid Distribution Center. On it goes. Yep, that's my job. That's what I get paid for. Well, then I gotta flip it too. Enough of that nonsense. But what is good fun is actually just holding it to do some wheel work. Here, I'm just gonna clamp the wheel in. What's nice about this, it puts it down in a nice position to take readings with the TM1. So here I'm checking my tension. I'm entering as I go. I've created a nice chart. Saves a little time. I'm not working really high up in a, in a turning stand. It's right down where I like it to have, to have it. And Truman, what's up with that PB1? All right, so I got a front through axle here. So it's a 15 millimeter through axle. I'm gonna take my 15 mil through axle adapter, pop it on. Pop my wheel on. So now we're gonna install this rotor. Rotor goes on, it's staying nicely. Don't have to hold anything. I'm gonna just thread each one of these in a little bit by hand. All right, so this is about to get fun. This is pretty, pretty cool. So now we got our power tool going here. It's got about to get tight. There we go, all six of them are just about to be in. Then we'll go back, verify the torque. Getting just a little bit of a turn out of each of them. It kind of worked out perfect. And there you have it. You just install a rotor on here, pretty fun. Now back to Calvin, what are we up to? Even simple things like throwing on a new cassette are more fun with the WH-1. We find our alignment slots, we match them to the cassette, Drop them on right there, and the next, and the next, and the next. As soon as you're back. On, on. Lock ring's got some grease already. That's gonna go on. Spin. Fully tight. Ready to go. Calvin, what's going on over at the vise there? Thanks, Cal. You know, new tools provide new opportunities, and this is something I haven't done yet, but I really want to try and see if it works. It's wheel lacing. Is it gonna help? It might. So here, what I've done is engaged four spokes only just to hold the thing up. So here, we're working over space. I can drop my other spokes in. I can run them up to the rim. 
throw in the nipples, then flip the whole wheel over for the second set. So, seems like it might be fun, but I'm gonna have to let you know later. Try new things with this tool. And now it's your chance to win a WH-1 from Park Tool, including the 12 millimeter through axle stud and the 15 millimeter through axle adapter and the 20 millimeter through axle adapter. Our friend the Pac-Man QR adapter. Bolts to benches, grab it in a vise, clamp it if you like. How do we win this? To enter to win, leave a comment in the comments section with what you would do with this tool. The winner will be announced on the next Tech Tuesday. So stay tuned and uh, visit back with us. Hope you all win. See you next time. Good luck. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Tech Tuesdays, check out our Repair Help video library, which has detailed guides to a wide variety of common bike maintenance procedures. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos from Park Tool.